Hello YouTube, and this time I want to show you my plan about uh, building a vehicle HUD. And uh, this is a module which I purchased uh, online, and uh, today I have received it. This is a, a three-segment display module, which is uh, with uh, the RS232 communication. And uh, I want to tell you why I want to build this HUD. I think it is very simple. And uh, several days ago, I traveled uh, to another province driving my, driving my car. And uh, as my car is a little old, it is uh, productive uh, in 2012. This is all the car, and the speedometer is uh, the needleness uh, mechanical. The needleness mechanical speedometer, and when, I, when I'm driving, I always to note in my head down and look at uh, the meter. So got back from the travel, and uh, I intended to make a small HUD for the car. Uh, also, I have explored several products online, and. Uh, some of uh, very beautiful and uh, multi functions, but uh, I decided to build it my own because uh, this is uh, my hobby and this is my interest. When I use it, I feel very satisfied. This is uh, the strength of uh, interest. And uh, today's video is uh, about the project building a vehicle HUD. This is a uh, episode one and today i just want to show you how to test this module this is a this is a three segment digital meter and uh, you can see the power supply is uh, from 6 to 36 volts uh, it is connected to a uh, 5 volts dc supply and the communication port is the ris232 which you can see the A is uh, the transmit port and B is the uh, receive receive port and uh, also I got a USB to RS232 converter and uh, you can check the diagram about this uh, 9 needles port the number 2 pin is uh, associated with the transmit port and the number 3 is associated with the uh, receive port so I have connected them and now how to use it the first course we need to read the user menu and as you can see the A is associated with uh, the transmit date and B is associated with the uh, receive date port and the default bond rate is uh, and the bond rate with default is uh, 9600 and there is uh, 8 data and 1 stop data and this is some of the items about the module also solar has provided a software to test this module and uh, so we first need to connect the USB to RS232 converter to my PC USB port and we check the communication port with uh, management as you can see the communication port USB serial is associated with COM8 so in the testing software we can set uh, the serial port as you can see we select the COM8 and the bond rate with uh, 9600 no parity 8 date and uh, one stop date confirm and also we see these pages it shows how to set up the serial port and it said this module is working on the communication protocol Modbus RTU, which is a very euro protocol in industrial controlling. You can always see it using in some factory. And now we can open the serial port. Now the serial port has opened and uh, in my new side function commands. This screen 01 presents uh, station number and 06 presents uh, the function number. Four zeros is the uh, address of uh, the resistor and double zero thirty two is uh, the value of the resistor and it also say it also said the thirty two is a uh, hex format so when you change it into decimal it is uh, fifty and uh, open the calculator and you can see we change it into hex mode and it said that the thirty two matches fifty so thirty two and, and change it into decimal 50 and the 32 means what let's see the the detail in the menu this is ask ask two number all the character has uh, uh, equals two 
uh, hex format uh, command number. As you can see, the 22 hex is associated to number 2. So the first number on the module, its address is 0. And the second number, its address is 1. Third one, its address is 2. So open the test software. 50 is uh, 32 associated with uh, number 2, the character number 2. So we change it into 50 and the address with the, which means after I press the sending button and it will send the command which, which said the number the number one the first number of the module to display character two and what about the, the character zero as we can see zero is 30 hex 30 hex transform it to hex 30 and in decimal is 48 so if we want to the module show zero and there must be 48 sorry 48 and then zero is uh, the first position the first number of the module and one is the second number and two is the third one let's check it zero is uh, the first number of the module as you can see now it is showing two two three and now I want the first number shows zero. How to do that? I press the send, the send button. It turns zero. And the second one, the, we change the resistance address to one and send. The second number turns to zero and we change the resistors address two and send so the third one turns to zero okay i think it's perfect when my building is finished i will mount it in my car and uh, it can show me the speed of the car which is uh, make which makes me need not to load my load load my head down and look at the speedometer so today we finished and uh, in the episode two i want to show you how to uh, program the mcu to communicate com to communicate with this module and uh, send uh, the speed data to to it and also i want to tell you how to how could i acquisition the speed of the car that i intended to use a gps module to connect to the satellite and uh, and use the MCU to acquisition to acquisite the, the data from the GPS and uh, and analyze the data and transform it to this module and the speed of my car will shows on this. So today we finished. Thanks for watching. It's very pleasant of you. Press the like button. See you next time.